What's up, YouTube? Sean the Gamer here, and today we're going to be talking some fast lane WWE Raw's presentation, the last pay per view before WrestleMania, and it's shaping up to be a doozy. I'm lying. Um, this is going to be like a subpar card just because the things that are going to happen on this show aren't going to leave a good taste in my mouth going into WrestleMania, at least for the Raw brand. So, if you're new here, please subscribe, check out um all the things that we offer on the channel tons of videos gameplay let's plays um dokkan battle dragon ball z content i still need to make me a dragon ball z video talking about all the stuff that i want to see in this upcoming arc um the prelims are coming to a close so i think it's time to make like a serious like i guess quote unquote prediction theory type video since they've given us a lot of clues on what's going on in this next arc but <clears throat> all that movie reviews tv show reviews all that stuff on the channel so like i said if you're new here please subscribe all the links to everything else are down in the description down below facebook instagram twitter and twitch but let's jump right into this uh with the kickoff show match it's going to be a tag team match from 205 live the cruiserweight division will be on display and it'll be rich swan and akira tozawa versus brian kendris and no one i'm dark i'm out of breath for some reason already i gotta sit on my ball you hear that my exercise ball because my chair broke so yeah <laughs> um noam dar brian kendrick rich swan tozawa tozawa's on the come up brian kendrick's and noam dar uh, my thing is on this show everybody needs a win except two people roman reigns and roman reigns and goldberg those are the only two people that don't really need to win, but nine times out of ten are going to win their respective matches because um, we'll get to those points when we get there. But I'm just going to go with the faces, Ruswan and Tozawa going over. If it was the second match on the pre-show, then I'd probably say the heels are going to win, but this is the only match as of right now. So, yeah. And it's sad that these two, Tozawa and... Brian Kendrick's are like the undercar story or one of the undercar story and they're being delegated to the post show. I mean, the pre-show. So sad, sad. The next match is going to be Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax. Both of these women need a win in this match, but Nia needs it more. So I'm just going to use my gut feel. I'm probably going to be wrong in all my predictions this time just because it's raw and the way they work. Like... Nia Jax needs to win, so I would expect her to win just to look dominant going into WrestleMania. And Sasha Banks as well needs to win to look dominant going into WrestleMania because she hasn't been doing much but losing lately. Unless Nia Jax wins. Um, I can see this. This is, a, uh, if I get my words together, this is a scenario I can see. Is Nia Jax beating Sasha Banks. And then later in the night... Sasha Banks goes out to help Bailey defend her title against Charlotte. And then Charlotte, you know, should end up winning anyway. So, yeah, I'm expecting Charlotte to be a five-time, five-time women's champion um, come Sunday. And then Sasha can be like, you let her win. Now we got to work and get on the belt back of her and just snap on Bailey, And then that way you can have Nia Jax. Uh, legitimately, legitimately winning to become a contender to get put in the four way. Um, Bailey lost her title, so she has an automatic rematch clause. So that's two. Charlotte's the champion, and then you can just insert Sasha Banks by, you know, becoming a heel and, you know, trying to thwart Bailey from getting the title back. So yeah, that can happen. So basically, Nia Jax needs to win, and Charlotte needs to win. But I know how this works, so it's probably going to be Charlotte. Well, well, if Maya Jax wins, then Bailey's probably going to win by some type of. I don't see them breaking the streak either. That's another problem that they have, is I don't see them breaking the streak that Charlotte's on right now. So uh, it's looking really difficult to call this. But like I said, either way I go, if Maya Jax wins, then Bailey's going to keep her title. I'm not going to say win, she's going to keep her title. Going into WrestleMania, but if Sasha Banks wins, then I see Charlotte winning with a whole bunch of shenanigans going on from there. So I can see like Sasha Banks, like even if Charlotte does win 
And Sasha Banks wins as well. I can see it being like, look, Bailey, you messed up the dream. It's supposed to be you and me at WrestleMania, and you, you effed it up. Now we got to deal with this all over again. So, yeah, I can see that happening. Then we have the tag team belts on the line. Excuse me, the tag team championships on the line. Don't sue me, Vince. Um, Gallows and Anderson, the club, good brothers for life versus Enzo and Cass, annoying brothers for knife, for knife, for life. I wish somebody, never mind. <laughs> uh, uh, the tag team division, like I've been saying over the past couple of videos, is dead in the water. So, Lou Gallows, Carl Anderson, I can see them retaining and then dropping the belts at WrestleMania to Enzo and Cass. So, yeah. Then we have Sami Zayn versus Samoa Joe. Um, as much as Joe needs this, Sammy needs this just as much just because he's been floundering in the mid card a lot lately. So this match can go either way. I'm suggesting like, the, the thing is, this is Joe first pay-per-view match on the main roster and he probably needs that win just for that reason alone. But at the same time, I think they're going to be pushing this match into WrestleMania as well. So we need shenanigans to happen tonight in this match as well. A lot of shenanigans happening. Um, I pretty much skipped over Neville versus Gallagher. Keep the belt on Neville for a little bit longer. No need to give it to Gallagher just yet. He's kind of over, but yeah, the tag team division is dead. Then we have Roman Reigns versus Braun Braun. Uh, like I said, Roman Reigns doesn't need this victory at all. Not at all. But I can see Braun. I want Braun Strowman to win this match just to look strong. It, it, he can... It can even be like this. Braun Strowman wins the match because The Undertaker comes out. You know, his music starts to hit. You hear the dong, dong, blue lights. Um, Roman Reigns starts getting distracted, gets uh, obliterated at that point by Braun Strowman. Because if you remember at the Royal Rumble when Roman Reigns eliminated Undertaker, he was like, I'm not through with you yet, boy. So this could be the reckonings, the comeuppance, if you will, Undertaker can get from uh, Como C D say Roman Reigns. So I'm, I'm I am going to pick uh, Braun Strowman to win this match. Like this is like this prediction video is going by pretty fast. Like because the the show is dead. There's not that much to talk about. But this is all like pretty much thrown together stuff. So the main event of this evening: Kevin Owens versus Goldberg. A lot can happen in this match. A lot can happen in the Sami Zayn, Samoa Joe match, too, to be honest. So we can see a Seth Rollins, Triple H running as well um, to help Sami Zayn get the win. And that can set up something a little bit more. Um, because Triple H told Seth Rollins, don't come to WrestleMania. He said nothing about Fastlane last night on Monday Night Raw. So I was going to do a review for that. That's what I should have did. But we'll, 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 let's talk about, we'll talk about Raw after we do the review. So... Uh, we have this video will be a little bit longer. You know, it's about eight minutes in and we're done with the review. Kevin Owens versus Goldberg. I can see a Lesnar run in. I can see a Jericho run in happening. Um, either way, if if Lesnar runs in, I see Kevin Owens keeping the belt. If Jericho runs in, definitely Goldberg is walking out your new Universal Champion. But I think he's walking out Universal Champion anyways. So if we're just going back down the car. Goldberg walks out champion. Charlotte walks out champion. Braun Strowman should walk out victorious. Samoa Joe sh should walk out victorious. There might be shenanigans. Neville retains. Gallo Anderson retain. And Nia Jax beats the crap out of Sasha Banks again. And the kickoff match is won by the faces. So Monday Night Raw for this week was completely and utter horse garbo. Um, like it had a couple of... No, it didn't. It, it did, but it didn't. Like I really enjoyed the, the Samoa Joe Cesaro spot. Those two going back and forth with their history. I'm surprised like he didn't call him Claudio like everybody else has been lately. Um... I like the interactions that they're ha having now. Sheamus and Cesaro, that is. I like their little interaction. Enzo is annoying as hell. Like, I don't get it. He wasn't this annoying before, but he's annoying as hell now. It's like even Cass is starting to get frustrated with him. So, do something about that, WWE. But you're not. The women's division is dead in the water. The tag team division is dead in the water. There's nothing really to say about Raw anymore. You had that Oscar segment that, that was... It wasn't even bad. It was just flat. The Triple H Rollins segment was good. The opening segment was 
uh, Kevin Owens saved it because I do not like Oldberg. And if you can see in my fast lane layout, there is no Oldberg to be seen. I've even declared him. He's not going to be a WrestleMania layout. He's, 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 uh, the, no. <laughs> no, just no to Oldberg for me. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Like, the segment, why were you guys ch- chanting CM Punk? Why, why were they chanting CM Punk during that Seth Rollins segment? I, I don't get it. They're in Chicago next week. Save it. Save it then. And then maybe you might get the surprise. It's the night after a pay-per-view going into WrestleMania. You might be surprised. I'm not saying I know anything. I'm just literally saying you might be surprised. You never know what happened in WWE these days. You know, you know, you know, getting called up after shows and stuff. So there's nothing really to say about Raw. So that's why I decided to do this today, a couple of days out. It's Tuesday, February the 28th, the last day of Feb. Yeah, the last day of February. That sounded so wrong for a second. So, I uh, raw. It's raw. I do have. I literally do have more Dokkan battle stuff coming. You should have seen two videos out for Dokkan this weekend plus this video today. So, uh, I got some more pre-recorded. So I'm t- going to play a little bit more tonight because I believe all of the events for the two year about to go away pretty soon. I think. I think they go away in like a few more days or a week if they don't go off immediately today or tomorrow. So yeah, more videos to come, more stuff coming. There will might there will actually be a SmackDown review. Since SmackDown is good, NXT last week um, was good. I don't think I did a review for that, but oh, I'm getting there. I'm I'm trying to get back to normal, guys. I've been doing new layouts and things like that. For Dokkan, I try to get some new layouts for some reviews and things like that. Like a, a review type layout. But that way, I can just use that one. Change out the the uh, logo ping on that layout to whatever show or movie I'm, you know, doing at the time. And make like a little picture box. I'm telling you guys too much. I'm just talking just to kill some time. For some reason, I don't know. I need to stop talking now. But if you've enjoyed this video, like I said earlier... Please subscribe if you're new here. Hit that notification button. That way you can be aware when new videos goes live all the time. Like as soon as it goes, it's gonna be in your email. It's gonna be on your phone. It's gonna be like a little thing on your laptop. Like hey, Sean, he posted a new video. If you care, go watch it, and I'll greatly appreciate that. Um, share this video with your friends so they can do the same things I just told you to do. Everything else is linked in the description as well. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. So we do live tweet all the time about certain stuff, wrestling, uh, anime stuff, the DC shows, all that good stuff. So, yeah. And it's going to get to the point where we're going to like start live tweeting Raw and Love and Hip Hop because that's how bad Raw is. And then like, I barely had to remember, I barely remember Raw because I'm watching Love and Hip Hop most of the time. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I just had to go check on my grandma. Uh, kind of messed up my whole positioning, but we're at the end of the video anyway. So, all that being said, I will say in live tweeting all the time, all this stuff, in the description down below. I just, like, randomly at the end of the video, like, what are you, when I'm about to get up anyways, that's when she wants something. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, subscribe. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Be notified. All that stuff. Do all of it. Love you guys. Sean and Garrett. Addy.